Hey what is up guys my name is Kosmin and in today's tutorial I'll show you how to create a simple avatar illustration by using a photo inside the illustrator. Hopefully using this simple technique you can create your own avatar or do one for your client. Let's go inside the illustrator, go to file, new and I'm using a standard web document. The most important part is to make sure that you have uh, smart guides enabled and I also like to disable the snap by pixel option. Let's do that. I'll paste in a photo of Leonardo DiCaprio uh, as he asked me to have a new avatar for his upcoming movie and naturally I couldn't say no. <laughs> uh, I've locked the photo in and let's zoom in a bit. I'll start this illustration by using the pen tool. My main goal being to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, let's assign white for the color of the outline and start tracing the shape of his head. The only parts that will have a feel are the beard and his hair. Other than that I'll just end up using outlines to define his facial features. I'm not aiming to get a realistic illustration, that's why I'm not worried about tracing all of the details of his head or include any loose strains of hair. The goal is to minimize the number of anchors as much as possible and get something very simple looking. Once I close uh, this shape up, uh, I notice that some of the curves are looking too good and that's why I tend to use the smooth tool to help and get a more natural looking path and improve the initial tracing of the head. I'll just click and drag on top of the existing anchors and this tool will do the rest. I'll switch back to the pen tool now and create the shape that's going to define the inside line of the hair. Similar to what we previously did, just try to go for something very simple that follows the basic shape of his hairline. After I finish this, uh, let me just close this uh, path. And once I've finished it, we can start adding the facial features. I'll start by creating the eyebrows. Now make sure to include the curvature of the nose a bit uh, on either side. It's up to you, I'm going to do it on this side. And for the eyes, I'll just create a small circle. And remove the top anchor by using the direct selection tool and hit backspace. To duplicate it, simply hold down the alt and move to the other eye. I'm trying to intersect the main shape of the head with the inside outline of his hair to create a new shape, so I'll copy and paste each one in front and I'll try and use either crop or intersect from the pathfinder tool. If you can find it, you can enable it by going to window pathfinder. Using intersect I'm left with the shape that will be his hair and as I said in the beginning I'll add a fill to it, right now I'm just using a standard grey. And just in case I'll make a copy that will be used for the outlines, so I'll have more control over the strokes and the final look of the illustration. I'm pretty happy with what I have here, but I'll still like to increase the stroke size of these outlines. Let's go and do maybe 4, 4 looks about right. I'll also add a round cap to each stroke and now I can finally select and move everything in order to do a quick comparison. Not just the hair, <laughs> everything. Uh, the first thing that stands out is the right part of his beard. Let me zoom in and do small adjustments uh, using the direct selection tool. You can have more control over each individual anchor. Also I can see that one ear is overlapping with the hair. That's not a big problem since I'll be using the same color uh, over everything and on the hair I'll just uh, add some curves to the hair edges. Once I'm happy with the results, let me just uh, select the non-fill to that 
and this pad still looks out of place let me just zoom in finally it looks <laughs> it looks better let's select everything go to object and expand and i'll expand the fill and the stroke and using the eyedropper tool just assign it a color let's move everything on the white background and i immediately noticed that i forgot about his beard we can leave it the way it is or just add some fill to it i just grabbed the pen tool and let's create a shape that will fill that uh, space and this is the final look but <laughs> now that i look again at it still want to do some changes so this is not the final look <laughs> I'll create a, I'll probably just use a different color and rotate his eyes the other way around and in the end this will be the final illustration. Now as I said in the beginning this can be used as an avatar and you should be able to have similar results by following the rough outlines of any photo. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. As always I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you might have in the comment section below. Until next time, take care guys.